Hi, YouTube family. I'm so sorry for not posting sooner than today. However, it's been very busy and hectic for me and um, interesting things to tell you. Uh, but uh, here I am reporting, reporting on days 15 through 23. Um, I just tried recording and got into like two minutes of my recording and the dog started like going crazy barking. So I had to put them outside. <laughs> anyway, um, trying to get adjusted here. Uh, I am happy to say that I am recording from YouTube today, which is always so much easier because it's like I put it on, I record, and I upload, and it's done. When I record to uh, iMovie, it's um, a little longer of a process. So, Anyway, so my last week and a half has been a little tougher than expected. Um, first, first and foremost, people have been wanting to go to dinner and... That's always a challenge, especially if you go to a fast, well, not a fast food restaurant, but a a restaurant where they don't serve, like, raw food. Unless they have a salad bar, um, it's tough. So, luckily, we did go to, like, a Ruby Tuesdays where I was able to get in the salad bar and kind of make my own meal, being cautious of, like, you know, what I can and can't put on because even at the salad bar, they have things that I, I wasn't able to eat, but... I did very well, and they had fresh made guacamole um, that I was also able to eat, so that was good. Um, the fair is in town, which I'm a huge fan of the fair's hot dogs, or um, not hot dogs, they're corn dogs. I love their corn dogs because they're like, they're like none other. They're crunchy and just... I mean, it tastes like the fair. I mean, you, you, you smell the fair in the air, and that's what it tastes like in your mouth when you get a corn dog uh, from the fair. So, even though it's horrible for you. So, anyway, so there were those few things. Um, and then, like, a couple of days, well, a one day last week, and then around the same time this week, I think it was Wednesday, Tuesday or Wednesday of last week, and then again, because today's Wednesday, so yesterday, just a funky mood, like, I don't know if it's because I haven't had things prepared in the fridge, ready to go, like, I had my hummus a couple of weeks ago, and I had a few other spreads the week before that, um, it's been difficult, and, and if you do blogging and reading and stuff, they say to always have something ready to go um, when you get home from work and stuff like that, because you're less likely to... Um, do something that you're not supposed to, <laughs> and to stay to stay with the diet, you know. So I'll be happy to say that I have not wavered. I um I have stuck to it. Um, well, I guess I did waver. Like I I thought about like oh maybe I should just go into eating my my fish now, you know, because that's what I want to do in a week from now and start incorporating fish and lean meat once a week and you know. If we go out for a special occasion, eating, you know, like an, like anybody else, but I didn't, and I was like, you know, I'm so close, and I've gone, I've come this far, so I'm not gonna do that, and I'm glad I haven't. Um, I've continued to feel good, uh, except for those two days that I was just in a foul mood, and I was like, ugh. And then Jason doesn't help because they're eating pasta. Ah, pasta, the death of me. Um, so it, it's been it's been challenging, but I've done it, and I'm proud to say that I have. So yes, yes for me. Um, however, some exciting things: I found a raw food restaurant very close to me. Um, it's called Christopher's Kitchen, and uh, they are all. They were at one point 100% raw, and now there's like three things on their menu that are considered um, just vegan, uh, but they're not raw. But everything else is raw and very good. Pricey, very pricey, but, excuse me, if you're not going to eat out every day, and it's for, you know, just one of those things that you're constantly in your kitchen making your own meals and you want a break, it's a good thing to know that that's down the road. So we went and I had some tacos made out of, again, Lord knows what, it was all raw, but it was really good. And they had some, which I want to go and like buy a bag of them from them, um, flaxseed chips, but they were thicker. And they had this 
great flavor, great taste. Um, and we had that with some guacamole and stuff like that. So uh, really enjoyed that restaurant. Um, what else can I say? For those of you who want to know as far as weight loss or, or weight gain on this um, diet, the first week that I was on the diet, I lost two pounds. The second week, I lost one pound. And now, um, after the third week, I've lost two more pounds. So I've lost a total of five pounds since I've been on the diet. Um, so I weighed myself again yesterday, and that was day 22. So 22 days in, and five pounds have been lost. Again, not what I was going for. It was just something that happened um, because of the natural progression, I guess, with the diet. Uh, but for those of you who are, are looking for um, those types of statistics, I'm reporting on those for you. So um, not much else to say. I'm on my last week of being, uh, I guess you would say, just 100% raw. Um, fruits, vegetables, and nuts, and berries, a little squirrel. <laughs> um, but come next, after next uh, Tuesday, no, I have to finish Wednesday completely, next Wednesday completely, for it to be um, 30 days officially, uh, and I'll have completed my 30-day raw food challenge. So plans for Thursday, <laughs> which is the day 31. Um, to incorporate sashimi, salmon sashimi, uh, to start incorporating eggs. You know, it's really hard to find um, eggs that haven't been, you know, processed in some way. So I guess in that regard, I won't be raw. Um, not that I eat eggs all that often, but I do enjoy eggs, and, and I think that they're a good source of protein and they're good for you. Um, I did, however, the last time I was at my farmer's market, found um, a stand that, that had farmer's eggs. So I'm going to try to go for those um, next time I'm there, and I'll, I'll get them. Uh, so that will, that will still stay in my where I want to be. Um, but if I can't, again, because the, it's, it's more difficult to find, then um, I'm not going to beat myself up over it. I still think the eggs are good for you. Um, what else? So yeah, and then Jason's birthday is coming up on February 4th. Um, so that day, we actually have a uh, family, uh, I think it's a co-ed bridal shower for um, a cousin of Jason's that's getting married. So I'm sure there'll be things there that I'll, I'll snack on and things like that. But again, it's considered a special occasion. Um, and then the next day I think we're like barbecuing, <laughs> so that's another special occasion, but that's it. Then again, I'm going to live my life like a normal, um, not normal person, I'm not saying that people that are on the raw diet aren't normal, but, um, just, uh, everything in moderation. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy and, uh, I'm excited to start eating, you know, my protein once a week uh, or my lean meat once a week. So fish anytime I want and lean meat once a week, you know, whether it be lean chicken or lean steak, um, that's the plan. So anyway, um, thank you so much to everybody who's viewed my videos. I hope they've been informative, and I'm going to continue. I'll continue with my, with my videos posting and telling you um, what I feel after I, I start incorporating the things that I want to incorporate and um, making it a true lifestyle um, changer for me. Um, because this has kind of been my, my detoxification and intro into what I want to do. And I also want to wish my sister Veronica, um, who goes by the name of ThinSpired140 on YouTube, um, wish her the best of luck and tell her that I love her very, very much. Um, she is going to be undergoing gastric bypass surgery in March. Um, this is a decision she's made and I'm here to support her in any way I can and she subscribed to my channel and I've already had one of her subscribers subscribe to me which is really cool um, and it's all about 
lifestyle changes, guys, and being healthy and being happy and being the happiest you you can be and being the change you want to see in the world. So um, rock on and, and, and thank you guys. And I love you, Veronica. Um, I wish you all the best and, and I'm here for you. So I'm excited for you. I'm just as excited as you are because I know and I can see how happy this is making you. So, all right, so there's my shout out for the night. And I will, um, again, I'm really gonna try to be better at posting, guys. I'm sorry that I haven't. And um, I hope all of you are doing well and um, have a great rest of your week um, because it's Wednesday now. So the next time I'll post is probably gonna be Saturday. All right, bye.